Nung first year ako, I remember the tuition fee to be around 70. Scholarships bang available? A lot. Actually, a lot. Uh, ako, for one, am uh, a recipient of a scholarship during my stay in Ateneo. Kasi nung first year, uwian ako from Rockwell to Cavite. Ah. Safe ko sa phone ko. Kasi habang biyahe papunta, nagbabasa na ako. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be interviewing attorney Harvey Bilang, an Ateneo Law alumni, about his experiences in Ateneo Law School. So if you are interested in today's video, then please keep on watching. Hi Harvey! Hello! Hello Hi. everyone! Okay, so Harvey, can you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I am Harvey Bila. As what was mentioned, uh, I graduated from Ateneo Law School. I graduated uh, in 2016. Started working since then. Now I am currently working as a court attorney in uh, the Supreme Court. And prior to law school, uh, I took political science from the University of the Philippines, Manila. Harvey, how did you decide that you wanted to go to law school? It's a complicated decision. A lot of factors were taken into account. For one, I was kind of young mm -hmm. during my college graduation. You are graduation. actually, but to give them an idea, because 2016 I graduated and I graduated 26. Ikaw pa 23 ba? Tama? Yeah, 23. Oh, see, you're sobrang, sobrang bata. So, nag law school ka, 19. 19. 19. Mm. Nung college graduation ko, I was a bit young. Didn't mm -hmm. know what to do. I wanted to work, actually. Oh. Yung mom ko wanted me to go to law school. So, I took uh, entrance exams. Gusto ko personally mag-Ateneo. It wasn't really being uh, in law school that pushed oh. me, but really I wanted Ateneo. Ateneo law so, school talaga. Lang. But did you, I know, did you apply sa other law schools aside from Ateneo? I did. I took the UP Lai. Okay lang ba tanoin kung how was your exam sa UP Lai? Ah, sobrang hirap. Ako, oh. I'm not ashamed to admit I oh. didn't pass. I leave long. I knew right after I took it, ang hirap talaga. Oh, actually, nahirapan din ako, OMG. Okay. Pero nakatuwa na may nahihirapan din pa lang. May nahihirapan ding iba. Sabi mo Ateneo Law School talaga. Yung more than law school, Ateneo Law yung gusto mong pasukin. Can we ask why? Uh, even that, medyo maraming ibang uh, mga factors. I mean, one, mm -hmm. I've always been public school ever since. So, mm -hmm. before ako nag-private school. So, parang, ala, graduate na ako ng college, hindi pa ako nakatry even once, even oh, one oh. year to be in private school. So, yeah, and that's one factor. Two, I'm a huge volleyball fan, particularly yo Ateneo. So yun, it was a huge consideration also. So, parang, hmm, galing kang UP tapos Ateneo fan ka, parang mali. So parang uh, gusto kong i-justify to myself also. Na, na bakit gusto ko ng Ateneo? So ang babaw, no? But <laughs> okay are. lang yun. Kanya-kanya kayang rason kung bakit sila nap napunta dun sa law school na yun. Parang minsan akala mo profound nung sagot pero eh wala, ganun talaga eh. Diba? Okay lang bang ilink ko yung video ng interview mo? Nakita ko kasi yun eh. <laughs> ng interview mo kung bakit Ateneo ang pinasok mo. Okay lang? Sure, sure. Ah, sige, ililink ko in the description box below. Alright. So, nare-remember mo pa, Harvey, kung paano yung application process sa Ateneo? Yeah, I think, hindi ko alam pong yun pa rin ngayon. Ha? Pero mm -hmm. before, you will apply online and then you have to pay dun sa office talaga nila mismo. You'll go to the Ateneo Law School and pay uh -oh. there. Then they'll give you a permit, you schedule, and then you go uh, during the scheduled exam. Meron bang interview pa after? Kunwari, pagkapasa mo? Uh, during my time, parang yung first batch of passers outright. Tapos, may second list na for interview. Ah, Hindi ko rin sure if ganun pa rin, pa rin right ngayon. Now. How did you prepare dun sa Ateneo Law exam nung nag-apply ka? Actually, I didn't. Kasi parang, ewan ko, meron akong full sense of confidence with mm -hmm. entrance exam. Kasi parang, Hmm, napasa ko naman yung ukat, so parang okay. kaya na yan. So now, let's proceed to your cost ng Ateneo Law School. Okay, so okay. do you still remember kung magkano yung tuition fee or your range ng tuition fee sa Ateneo? Um, at the time I was there, nung first year ako, I remember the tuition fee to be around 70. 
per semester. semester. Full full load. Yeah, full load. Right now, ah, from what I hear, it's around 120 na daw. Seryoso ba? Oh my oh. gosh, parang med school na yung preso. Nakakaloka ang mahal. No. More than yung normal inflation. I think kasi parang they had to readjust the curriculum. Magdagdag ng units in certain subjects. Magdagdag ng subjects. So, Ay, yun. Okay. Balloon talaga yung, ano, yung price. Ang laki. Doon sa experience mo, when you were still in um, law school, may scholarships bang available? A lot. Actually, a lot. Uh, ako, for one, am... Uh, para a recipient of a scholarship during my stay in Ateneo. Mm-hmm. Uh, full scholarship siya. Noong wow. una, it was just based on my grades in college. Kasi, of course, wala naman silang basis. Eh. But starting first year, second sem, you have to meet certain grade. Mm-hmm. And meet ang average ha, as in parang, like ako for my case, apart from, kailangan din sa lister ako, kailangan wala akong grade below 80. Hello. Pag nag-79 like yung isa sa grades ko, wala na. Ganun. Wala na. Pero there are a lot of scholarships. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero yung parang hindi naman, hindi naman lahat ng scholarship program seem yung requirement. Nagkataon yung sa akin, medyo may fit. Ah, okay. So There it, are. Kasi may mga, uh, like, uh, hindi lang from within, like outside of the school, mga mm. agencies, organizations, mga batch na gustong magbigay. Yun, oh meron mga scholarship programs, yes. So, Hello. if uh, may tao na interested na maghanap ng scholarship programs, meron kang idea na specific organization na tatanungan? Or parang meron bang school, ay para student group na all about, or school, or hindi ko alam kung ano tawag, mm. <laughs> na parang may alam ng mga ganong class yung mga scholarships na available? Wala eh. Um, pag may bago, Normally, they post it lang do sa bulletin board sa school. Ah. So, dun ko lang nakita yung sa akin. Okay. Pero, if you really intend to parang apply for a scholarship, may specific person naman sa uh, admin. Okay. So, one of the four windows sa admin na okay. knows everything. Just ask what are oh, the requirements. Nice. Then, time slots na available. Ganun. Oh, okay. So, ikaw full scholarship from first year to fourth year? Mm-mm. Grabe. Hindi. Hindi ko kaya bayaran kung hindi. As in, wala. Kaya nga ako public school all my life. Eh. Pero ang galing mo. Kasi sabi mo, very strict nung, ano, nung requirements dun sa scholarship mo. Okay lang ba i-disclose? Kano yung scholarship mo nun? Yeah. Um, it's Father Pedro Arupe Scholarship. It was, at the time, administered by Father Bernas. Oh. And since now, parang since medyo hindi na siya I think medyo nawala yung scholarship. Hindi pala medyo. I mean, nawala na yung scholarship. I think I was the last Talaga? graduate of the scholarship. Oh, Ang so, swerte mo! Grabe! Grabe! Ang swerte mo! Kasi parang ano? ako na yata yung, yung... Kasi naging prof ko si Father Bernas ng first year. Mm. I think after me, two batches na lang and then he stopped teaching na. Kasi medyo, ah. I mean, i- nag-catch up na rin yung age and all. Okay, okay. Alright. Well, thank you for sharing, ano, Harvey. Mm-hmm. Okay, so cost pa rin tayo kasi syempre Ateneo is in Rockwell and it's not the most, it's not Espanya, hindi rin siya, hindi rin siya tough, so tough oh, right, uh, <laughs> diba? Na ang daming, uh, okay, ang daming available na um, affordable and reasonable price na kahit ano. So, paano yung living hmm. expenses pag habang nasa Ateneo Law School? Uh, that part is very tricky kasi nga, as you mentioned, it's not necessarily the cheapest place Uh-oh. in Manila. So, ako, what I do, kasi ng first year, uwi ako from Rockwell to Cavite. So, okay. one meal lang ako, lunch lang ako sa school. And mm-hmm. then, masatahe na the rest. Pero nung sec- sec- second year, syempre, dumami na yung subjects, hindi na, hindi na talaga kaya. Nag-dorm ako, yun na medyo malayo, from Rockwell. Uh-oh. And then, what I do is, before I go to school, kakain ako sa karinderya, bibili mm-hmm. pa ako ng ulam doon, and then I eat it in school. Ang bibiliin ko na lang sa school, kanin. kanin. Ayun! Wais! Yes, so, so may, tsa, may paraan pa rin talaga. Kung, I mean, mm-hmm. kasi syempre, ang, kung kakain ka ng kakain doon sa mga available na kainan sa labas or around the school, magasos talaga. Pero, mm-hmm. yung pagkain sa, ka, sa cafeteria, kamusta naman yung range ng presyo? Ah. 
Mahal. As in, as in parang kami... Kahit cafeteria? Oo. As Mahal in... Uh, I think isang ulam, mga 70. Oh, wow. Time ko yun, ha? Oh. So, hindi ko na alam mga yun. Mm-mm. Parang pinakagalit na galit ako before, nung mm-hmm. time na minakita ko na gulay, as in lumpiang gulay, ha? Yung gulay oh. yung loob, tapos pinrito, lumpia, oh. diba? Tapos, 40 peso siya isa. Tapos, parang, <laughs> ano ito? May ginto ba ito sa loob? So, honestly, mas okay pang kumain sa power plant. Kesa dun sa Ay, cafeteria that we had at the time. Kasi at least in power plant, you have Jollibee. Oo nga, oo nga. Paikot-ikot ka lang dun sa tatlong yun para medyo kaya. Oo. Okay, so yun living expenses, dahil sa nasabi mo, parang kaya naman siyang parang maging madiskarte ka, sort of. Mm-hmm. Kung ano, kung, I mean, kung tight yung budget din talaga. Okay. Full so, disclosure. Oh, yes. Ay, sorry. Go ahead. Full disclosure nung time na yon I mean, this is 2012 to 2016. So, mm. hindi naman siya nalalayo pa. Pero, my budget was 1,500 a In Rockwella. Oh, oh nga. One, so, kaya ayun, kung food, sa discount, food, kaya siya. Ah, okay. Food at saka pamasahe and transport. Yeah. Oh. Tapos hindi na ako nagpapapotocopy ng hindi. Kasi online na lang. Ayun, yun, yun. Cases yun. online Eka, na lang. Gusto ko yun. Kasi hindi ka nagpapapotocopy. Anong ginagawa mo? Online? Um, I just uh, read the cases online through lawfill, yung se.judicial.gov. Soft copy? Soft copy lang? Yeah. Saan ka nagbaba? Sa, sa phone? Sa, sa phone. Oh. Um, Gosh, usually, oh. what I do, Pag, nung uwi ako ng Cavite, for example, what I do is, pag week ko, alam ko na yung assignment ko the next day, di ba? So, pagod na ako sa biyahe. So, pag i-download ko na yung cases, tell read in PDF form, tapos ah. save ko sa phone ko. Tapos, sabang biyahe papunta, nagbabasa na ako sa phone Ang ko. Ang I love it. I love it. May halong law school tips, guys. So, huwag kayong magreklamo, ha? Huwag kayong reklamador dyan. Si Harvey hindi nag-print at nag-photocopy. Gosh, gusto ko ng ano, hiwalay na interview regarding sa law school tips. <laughs> Kasi para feeling ko ang daming, ang daming value na makukuha at mabibigay mo. Okay. So, thank you, Harvey. Okay. So now, punta tayo sa Ateneo Law School Life. 